Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Nye and welcome back to Slay the Renee Way. If you're looking to build a Shopify store and you want it to be done in a very professional and seamless way with really nice custom graphics that fit your brand's aesthetic, this video is for you. Today I'm going to walk you guys through how to create really nice graphics using Canva, how to brand your Shopify website, and obviously how to attract more customers to your website. So if you're into Canva graphic design and you want to brand your website, let's hop right into the tutorial. First things first, defining your brand identity. Before we start designing, we want to make sure that our brand feels cohesive and makes sense. You need to first start by choosing your colors, your logo, and the fonts. When it comes down to colors, I would recommend choosing between like three and five different colors. The same with fonts, maybe three to five different fonts. And when it comes down to your logo, you guys, sometimes I think that we overthink this. You really just want it to be clear, concise, and to the point something that screams your brand name has your colors and your brand's identity incorporated into it but it's not over the top distracting here we are with step one which is choosing your brand's colors so i found out this really cool website you guys it's called colors.co so essentially what you do with this website is you basically go to the website and it generates color palettes for you if you're like me sometimes i draw blank and i want to typically just go pink 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 but other times when i'm designing a brand i kind of want it to be different i want colors to be more unique so if you go to this website they're basically going to help you generate color palettes if you decide that you like all the colors that are in this palette you obviously just copy and paste those hex codes and transfer them right over to canva but if there's one specific color from each color palette that you do like you click on the color and it generates different shades of that color and then generates new color palettes incorporating that color for you so i love this website i've never found it before but when i was recording this video it popped up and i said oh this would be helpful for somebody who does not know what color they want to use for their brand and they're just stuck. So definitely check the description box for colors.co. We're going to take these colors and we're going to take them over to Canva and get designing on our logo. Next, once you have done selecting your colors, then you want to go over to Canva and we're going to select create a new design. And this design is going to be for our logo. So logo templates are usually like two by two, but you can use whatever size you like. Or you can go ahead and just use an already pre-custom made template for you. I did go ahead and try to search makeup logo, but they did not have that available. So we are just going to use the standard logo size, 500 by 500 pixels. Open up to a blank workspace, and then we're going to select a template that gives us something to go off of. If you're super creative and you've already like drawn out your design and you have it already ready for you, you would use Canva to transfer those colors, enter the hex codes, and then design your logo using whatever design it is that you drew on a piece of paper. But for those of us who struggle with that, if you look over here on the left-hand side, there are tons of different templates that you can select for your logo. We're going to select one and then just change it up a bit. And so since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to do super detailed, but I did want to show you guys that you can select a template. You can input the colors that we have selected from our colors.co website, and we're going to make that into our logo. We're going to make this a lip gloss example, so I am going to be calling this business Gloss by Nye. But... Let me take you guys through how to actually create your Canva mood board or branding board. So all I did was duplicate the page where we are creating our logo and we're going to go ahead and add a couple of circles to this page. These circles are going to stand for the colors that we have selected using our colors.co design palette. Um, I want you guys to have a space where you can come back to select your colors and never lose them. If you do have the Canva Pro subscription, you are able to do this with the brand kit. I do have a video showing that already. This video is specifically for those of us who do not have Canva Pro and still want to be able to get our brand design using Canva. So copy those circles. We're going to have about five circles for our three to five different brand colors. You will go back to colors.co and hit the copy button, select the hex code, and then paste it into Canva and make that one of the circles. And do this for the remaining five other colors that you selected on your color palette. That way, no matter what, whatever you're designing, whether it's a social media graphic, a Shopify website banner, or even just a template post for Instagram, you can come back to this and you'll have all of your brand colors laid out for you, all the hex codes. I also recommend typing the hex codes directly beneath each circle. I did not do that in this tutorial, but I do recommend doing that. If you don't want to do that, you can obviously just select the circle and Canva has the hex codes for you. But I love doing this because I feel like once you see all of your brand colors, your fonts, the different text and graphic elements that you use in your brand all in one space, it makes it so much easier when it's come time to design your website, your social media graphics, even your social media posts. So again, I'm just duplicating all those circles and copy and pasting the hex codes into each circle so that all five of the colors that I used are there. I'm going to drag them over and make them a little smaller and make sure that I can see each color. We're going to do the same thing for the fonts. So go to the text tab. You can hit heading or you can do body. We're going to use this as our font um, section of our branding mood board. So go up to the logo, 
Highlight that text, copy that font, and paste it right into this heading section. That way you know exactly what the name of the font is. This is like your base font. This is the font that customers are most likely to see when they come and visit your brand. This specific font is called Tan Ashford, I believe. And it is with the Canva Pro subscription. So be mindful of that when you are designing things. Make sure that you are only using versions of the free version unless you have Canva Pro. Do the same thing for your subtext and any other text that you feel like you may want to use for your business. And now once you've designed your mood board, you can go ahead and take those fonts and those colors and now we're going to scroll up and implement them into our logo. Keep in mind this was a logo template, so I am just changing the colors, rearranging the font, and adding a little bit of my own personal style to make sure that it fits the colors and that the logo looks professional and clean. Now these color choices are actually really pretty to me. Hopefully you do like the colors and the fonts that you've chosen once you start to design your logo. I do feel like doing this is going to give you a better idea of what your website will look like. So basically you're doing like a pre-rough draft of your website design in Canva before you actually head over to Shopify and start to do these things in Shopify. So I'm liking the way that the logo looks. I did go ahead and do a little bit of an outline text to give it some dimension. I added some stars to make it a little pop. And then that was pretty much it. We got Gloss by Now already done. We'll go ahead and download and save all of these files as a PNG file. PNG is recommended when you are doing designs through Shopify or anything for your website. You want to save them as a transparent or just a PNG file. So now that we are done designing our logo, we are going to go ahead and create our first Shopify banner. Shopify usually recommends using 1200 by 600 pixels when you are going in to design your banner. So go ahead and type that into create a new design and your custom size is 1200 width by 600 pixels. So we're going to open up a blank workspace and use our logo. And I'm going to show you guys how Canva offers a lot of different stock photos and kind of get an idea of how to design a quick banner for your website. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going through and doing a super detailed tutorial because this is about how to use the designs in your Shopify website. But you guys, I use Canva all day long. If you want me to do a more detailed tutorial, you know what to do. Just go ahead and comment down below and I will get that out for you as soon as possible. So now in the search bar, I am going to go to the elements tab and type in lip gloss and look at a few of the stock photos that Canva offers. Keep in mind, a lot of these different images are with the pro version, so you may or may not be able to use them. But I did want to show you what they offer just to encourage you guys to use some of Canva's graphics. If you have not already taken brand photo shoots or anything for your brand product specifically, there are ways that you can use Canva and free stock images to actually design a banner or any graphic for your website. So let's go ahead and click see all. We're going to scroll down. We're going to find an image that we can use that is not on the paid version of Canva and try to make a banner for our Shopify website. This one looks nice. It's a blue background. It kind of matches the brand a little bit. If you want to, you can click it and set it as image background. That way it covers the entire surface that you're working on. You could also layer and add images on top of this image that we have here. But what I would recommend is getting a picture of your brand product, putting that on the background, and then using some text across the picture to say shop now or to give the sale that you're having or tell your customer a little bit about this product or to announce a new collection or anything like that. You want your customer to see something that stands out to them as soon as they click onto your website, you guys. This is your your prime marketing opportunity when you're using your Shopify banner. It's normally the first thing that the customer sees when they come onto your website. So I found this lip gloss image. I personally wouldn't use this for a, a um, brand image banner, but I just found it is free. We're going to go ahead and add our logo to this and then implement that into our Shopify banner. You could also get a little creative and drag and adjust the transparency. I give you guys complete freedom when it comes down to designing your banners. I really recommend you play around with this for a little bit. Get comfortable with using Canva. Figure out what you like. Figure out what looks good and what doesn't. And then once you like it, go ahead and save it as a PNG file and we'll upload it onto Shopify a little bit later. In this clip, you guys can see me doing something very similar where I'm going to be adding a mock-up product image. So when you are going to upload your product images onto Shopify, I would recommend you do a little bit of customization, whether it's adding the name of the product onto the image, maybe putting something graphical on there so that someone knows that there's a sale going on, or you can literally just tell them about the product on the image. But I do recommend branding all of your product images so that they match across your website. But again, I'm just showing you how you can use your brand colors, brand fonts, and brand your product images as well. The last thing that we're going to do is go ahead and make a shop announcement banner. This is a banner that will appear across the top of your website. As soon as a customer comes to your website, I recommend making sure that they know that there's a sale going on. You can say, welcome to my website or anything of the sort so that your customers feels welcome and invited when they get onto your website. 
we're using the same brand font logo and colors across everything i think i'm just going to go ahead and put our brand logo up here and then a shop now button in the bottom right hand corner feel free to customize this however you so choose to my one point. of my favorite favorite to tips to give out when i'm talking about branding a business is to simply just be consistent header, so if you use this hex code over here on the website make sure that you use the same hex code when you use it on your shopify website and, across, and across all your social media platforms so Everything that you do with your brand it should be appearing cohesive and consistent. Make sure that your brand appears that it was done in a very professional manner. And you want people to be able to easily recognize you. Once you see that pink, green, purple, and blue, they're like, oh, that's so-and-so. You don't want them to be like, mm, I'm unsure whose business this is because I'm pretty sure this brand uses those colors. Or the font looks a little bit off. I don't know if this is a scam. Sometimes things like that will happen. So keep that in mind when you are designing your branding. And last but not least, you want to head over to Shopify, go to your dashboard where you can see all of your different themes, select what theme you want to use for your website. For a makeup brand, I highly recommend using this Sense by Shopify theme. It's the most, um, I guess, the most compatible with doing makeup and it has a really easy flow to see all the different products. I really like the way that this theme is set up. So go ahead and download that to your store and then we're going to open it up and I'll show you how to quickly customize um, I'm not going to do a complete dedicated tutorial to how to customize your Shopify store, but if you guys wanted to see an updated tutorial, all you have to do is comment down below and let me know. So what you will do is go over to the header and you want to select theme settings and we'll go and click theme settings, click logo, upload your logo and make sure that the display is across the header of your website. As soon as your header is done and you have your logo, then we will move into customizing your Shopify banner and the shop announcement section that we did do. There are going to be a couple of different steps to each different theme because every theme is set up in a different way. But essentially on the left-hand side, there are all the different buttons and tabs that you will select. For example, we have this Browse Our Latest Products section. Once you go ahead into your sections on the website, you can click it. You can click where the image should be uploaded and simply just click Upload Image and then you will be able to upload everything we just downloaded from Canva, whether that's your logo, a product image, a banner, um, anything that you're using to display your products across your website. I will go ahead and keep Canva open just in case you want to tweak or change things based on how they look when you do upload them into Canva. But here was our header that we just now downloaded. We're going to upload that into Shopify and see what that looks like. You do want to go ahead and theme settings and also change the colors of your website. Keep in mind you did just make that Canva color palette so you can go back to your canva color palette and insert all of your different colors into your theme that way no matter what you're customizing your entire website has this exact colors that your brand represents right now it has this greenish font and i'm sorry right now it has this greenish color on the entire website that's just an automatic theme that comes with the sense theme but like i said you can change that um i do think i'm going to go ahead and do a part two to this video i can tell that there's a lot more things that i could go into detail about however i simply just want to show you guys how to design a couple of different graphics your brand element and get yourself branded to use your shopify store and that's how you brand your shopify website using canva it's easy it's affordable and it's actually so much fun i genuinely have so much fun when it comes down to designing if you felt like this video helped you to level up in your business in any way y'all already know what to do go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel Comment down below, let me know which one of these tips you are going to use or if you need more detailed tutorials like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.